What's up everybody? RJ here. Um gonna go through uh real quick. I got a bunch of stuff here. Just uh it's some uh stuff from the last couple of weeks and um it's not all of it but it's a good good majority of it. So I just wanted to kinda go through some of it real quick and um here we go. Y'all leave me comments, stuff, let me know what you think about some of this stuff. Um First of all, we got, uh, get over here and try to block the sun. These three little tins here. One's a Hershey's, one's a uh, NBC Graham Crackers, and one's Swiss Borax uh, from 1996. They're still in the plastic. Um, I got, this was pretty cool, I love this. Um, Incredible Hulk ceramic cookie jars. And I got two of them. They've never been taken out. Styrofoam's still around them, they've never been used. Uh, I thought they was really cool. Um, I got a Coca-Cola vintage alarm clock from the Coca-Cola collection. I got a Pacific Rail lines clock. I got a Lionel train clock that's got the little train that goes around. And I got a Coca-Cola um, alarm clock it's missing a couple of pieces a little bottles missing out of the bear's hand and the cap off the bill, uh, coke bottle and uh, but still pretty cool piece I think it's from the 80s um, this is I got this uh, 138 scale die cast bank Texco truck it's got a $20 tag on it I end up getting it for $3 and then got another 132 um, the 1918 Mac AC Bulldog Texco truck. Still, it's never even been taken out. Still got tape around it and everything. Um, got both of those together for six dollars, so three dollars a piece. Picked up old Dukes of Hazard um, Joyride car. The box is tore out of pieces, but the car is still brand new in it. So I'm just gonna take the car out and throw it away. Throw the box away. Uh, pretty cool little piece. Um, Got this at a yard sale the other day. Um, it's a Rainbow Bright from 1983 and still has her little hair clip and appears pretty much to be brand new. It's got one little ink mark on the face around her eye. Um, pretty cool little piece to be that old. It looks really good. I got a old Coca-Cola tin. Um, and I've yet to be able to find a year on this one. Um, got a Saturday Night Live uh, um, Trivial Pursuit DVD. And this is the one with um, uh, Will Ferrell and all them in it. It's a pretty cool little piece. Brand new. Still, I've never been open. A uh, couple of packs of Budweiser, the Budweiser Girl cards. Got the gold and the silver ones. Um, those come with a 10. I got it all for $4. Um, got a uh, Harley Davidson 95th anniversary uh, double set of playing cards, and they're still in the plastic on the inside. The 10's a little dirty, but got a little spot of rust on the right hand corner, but you know, still good. Got a, uh, a super giant print reference Bible. It is the King James Version. It, um, uh, the Bible is just like brand new. It has been inscribed on the inside, but it's just like new. Got, a, um, got this for free. Disney's uh, Wonderful World of Knowledge book from 1971. Pretty cool piece. Got another set of cross pins. Um, these are the black and gold with uh, the little etching around them and stuff in a little leather case. And they're brand new. They've never even been wrote with. Um, and I've did real good with those. Uh, I got another set of Schaefer. Um, uh, they got four or five different tips in them. It's uh, calligraphy pens. Uh, I got that for a quarter. So, you know, I don't know if it do anything. This elf on the shelf um, is brand new. Um, and this is a, if you hadn't heard about this, this is a pretty cool thing, look it up. Um, I done sold this one, I paid a dollar for it, and I sold it, sold last night for $19 with $5 shipping. 
I got these uh, Swisher Suites Oldsmobile uh, race car, the Matchbox cars, and they're from 1993, Racing Collectibles Club of America, and they're Rob Moroso, 1989 Rookie of the Year, and uh, I got those, I think, for 75 cents a piece. Picked up a little Star Wars glow-in-the-dark wall hanging thing. I got a Star Wars Episode One uh, R2D2 collector's pen, and just picked this one up out of a toy box the other day at a yard sale. Mace Windu uh, Saga Legends from Star Wars, uh, the Legacy Collection. Don't really know nothing about it. Uh, I got these two Camel. These are old Camel Smooth character. Got a black one and a blue one. They're the corduroy, and uh, they're the snapbacks. They're just like new, so I don't think they've ever been worn. This was this was one of the coolest pieces I think I found. This is a coffee mug, and it says Studman Craftsman, and you see the handle is in the shape of a hammer head, and uh, it's brand new. Uh, really cool. Thing got it for fifty cents. Um, I found a an Elvis Presley phone. Got it for five dollars. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but it's a really cool piece. A little dirty. Still got the tag on it to tell you to read the instructions before you hook up the phone. So thought it was cool. These two gigantic beer bottles, Budweiser, the Millennium bottle, and then I got the uh, the Hooters football Hall of Fame bottle. Uh, which was pretty cool. I got the blue one too. So, um, and I got these, and I need a little help on these. These are Better Homes and Gardens Complete Guide to Quilting, and it's brand new, still in the box as it was shipped from Better Homes and Gardens. And then the Quilt Lovers Favorites from uh, Better Homes and Gardens, and then another Quilt Lovers Favorite. So these are two different books, two different editions. Um, these are brand new in the box. I got these for a dollar a piece, and I figured they're probably worth a little something. I don't know. Um, some of you ladies can help me out that know a little bit more about this stuff. I got a Wilton Classic Wonders. Uh, I guess it's a cake thing. It's to make the the uh, Barbie-like decoration or the doll. It's got all the parts in it. It's brand new. So everything's still in the plastic. And then I got the Wilton method of cake decorating student kit. Um, it's got all the tips and everything in it and all that. So, uh, picked up this Magic Stitch cordless sewing machine, foot pedal operated. It's as seen on TV. Got it for a dollar. It's brand new, never been taken out of the box. Pretty cool piece, I think. Somebody might know on it. Um, found this, uh, it's a uh, old firefighter's helmet. Uh, the emblem has been the badge the badge or whatever they call it has been taken off the front But it does still have the old uh, strap and the old buckle you can see the old buckle uh, It's got their their uh, number on it um, Pretty cool piece still got the liner um, It's got the firefighter sticker that they put on the back um, it's got the buckle where it attaches to the uniform. Um, really good shape. Um, didn't give it uh, $3 for it. So if it's not worth much, I didn't lose much. So I found me a couple of items. Uh, I'm moving out of the sun here. Journey's Frontier album. Um, and the Brian Adams Reckless album. This album actually come out the year I graduated high school. Um, so i uh, kind of dating myself, but those are... You know, and I'm real big into records right now for some reason. I don't know. But I found a, one of the big super soakers. It's the Constant Pressure 135 Blaster. Um, and it works great. I done hooked it up and soaked my boys with it. Or filled it up and hooked, soaked my boys with it. So this is one of the, uh, you can see by me holding it, it's one of the, one of the big ones. It's got the, all the nozzles on the end. Um, I think this one's going to do pretty good. I gave $3 for it.
Um, I bought a, three boxes of the little coin covers for uh, when you collect coins and stuff. And I don't know how many is in there. It's probably a hundred in each box. I got 25 cents a box for them. And I got a uh, small scale Titanic, the unsinkable ship of dreams, die cast replica of the Titanic. Um, it's a pretty cool uh, piece. And it was actually made in 1998. Clayton Town or Clay Town Collection. Um, she was wanting four, and I got it for two. I thought it was really cool. It's never been over. It's a nice piece. Um, I don't know much about lights and stuff. I saw where some guys grab them, and I found this the other day. This is an old light out of a old old house. Um, it's actually purple glass. And it's got the cylinder um, on the inside, brass. Um, but I just thought it was really cool. You know, it's kind of got the dimples like around the bottom and stuff. Really cool piece, especially with the purple glass. I do have all the hardware to hook it up. And it was actually, let's see, Underwriters Laboratories Incorporated. But it don't give me a date on when this thing was produced. Um, it looks pretty old. Um, but, uh, they actually remodeled the house and took this down, so why you take that down, I don't know. I think it's a gorgeous piece. Uh, need some help with this doll. Uh, I got this doll, uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, really good shape, actually. A little bit of discoloration on the face. Um, the only thing I can find is got Mattel Incorporated, Hawthorne, California on it. That's the only... But it's got little speaker holes in the top of the head. So I'm sure it talked at one time or another. Um, but really cool piece. Anybody knows what that is, let me know. So I can list it properly. And my favorite find, and might not be worth much, but don't really care because I'm probably not going to get rid of it anyway, is um, this picture. Um, found this in a flea market the other day. And... You know, it's just one of those pieces that just kind of stuck out. It's the rough texture. Um, and, uh, you know, there's Jimmy De uh, James Dean, Humphrey Bogart in the back, Elvis Presley sitting here at the bar, and Marilyn Monroe. Well, of course, like she always was, the center of attention. So, um, you know, this is a beautiful piece. It's framed. Um, but this is probably going to go on my wall. But if anybody knows anything about this, kind of let me know. Um, and this video is long enough, so I'm going to get off here. And I got some more items and stuff, but I just got to get everything rounded up. But uh, thanks for sticking with me, guys. And thanks for all the uh, kind comments and stuff about for my brother this morning um, and last night. I really appreciate it. And um, remember, guys... Uh, if you need a new shirt or hadn't got a shirt and want one or a hat, check out one of my past couple of videos and uh, hit me up and I'll get it sent to you. Thanks, guys.